Mortgage rates recently fell to the lowest level they have been in five months. And based on the latest economic data, it looks as though those mortgage rates are going to continue to fall, finally. Now, this has caused many potential home buyers, and you, in fact, might be one of them, to put their home buying plans on hold and wait for those rates to fall even further. Makes complete sense, doesn't it? I mean, it's, it's the logical thing to do, but it's a plan that might actually be a costly mistake. So stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to let you know why buying now could end up saving you thousands of dollars. Hi, this is Andrew with the Andrew Smith team, EXP Realty here in Frisco, Texas. And each week I try and bring you tips and insights to help you navigate the local real estate market. And today I'm going to be talking to you about why waiting for mortgage rates to fall may not be your best strategy if considering buying a home. Now, in full transparency, I know that kind of sounds rather cliche. I mean, to have a real estate agent come out and tell you now is a great time to buy. So let's just be clear. That's not the intent of this video whatsoever, right? The intent of this video is to share why if you are planning on buying sometime in the near future or in the next six, eight months, why you may actually want to consider doing it sooner rather than later. So let's start out by going back just a couple of years. And you may recall the beginning of 2022. The market was insane, to say the least. There were multiple offers on every single house that went up for sale. You were having to pay way above the list price. You had to waive the appraisal. You had to waive inspections. Basically, just offer to gift your firstborn to have your offer even considered. But you may have noticed that that is no longer the case. There's more homes on the market now than we've seen in several years. But, and if you've been following any of my recent videos, you'll know that the number of new listings coming onto the market has actually started to slow, which means that we're unlikely to see that supply grow to the extent that it needs to in order for there to be any sort of meaningful reduction or drop in our local home prices. Now, have prices flattened? Absolutely. But there's no indication, nothing in the numbers whatsoever to indicate that those prices are actually going to fall, especially here in Frisco and the immediate surrounding areas. More well, I should say what we are actually seeing is just more of a return to normal. And let's face it, we haven't seen normal in a long time. But saying that, sellers that are putting their home on the market now, they, they need to sell. Homes that are listed for sale now and they haven't been taken off the market, they need to sell. And those sellers are more willing to negotiate than they have been in years, especially the new home builders. So keep that in mind, all right? So homes that are either done or will be done in the next couple of months are the ones that the builders are most willing to deal on. In fact, if you haven't seen it, I actually have a playlist on my YouTube channel that's called my Quick Move In series. And that series features new construction homes that, like I just mentioned, they're either done, ready for move in, or will be done within the next month or two. And those homes offer the absolute best opportunities that I have seen or come across in today's market. And on those homes, those builders are usually willing to offer additional incentives in the form of money for the design center or closing cost assistance, right? And that closing cost assistance can be used to buy the mortgage rate down. And in addition, quite often they're negotiable on the price, right? So we've been able to negotiate those prices lower, even on the homes that have recently had a price cut. So make sure that you check that out and don't be afraid to reach out with any questions whatsoever. 
So what does this all mean for you as a potential home buyer? Well, if you're one of those home buyers that has been waiting for the mortgage rates to fall, just know that you are not alone. In fact, as mortgage rates fall, and again, do I know for certain this is going to happen? No, of course not. But the indication that I'm getting and what I expect is that as these mortgage rates fall, we're going to see more buyers return to the market, which will increase demand. Right. And then that increased demand will reduce supply. Now, I don't think it's going to reduce the supply enough to where we're going to return to any of the craziness that we saw before. I don't think we're going to see bidding wars and a ton of multiple offers on the vast majority of properties. Nothing crazy, nothing wild. But as supply goes down, and the days on market goes down. So in other words, those homes start selling faster. Sellers will be less inclined to negotiate. And we're going to also start to see those builders cut back on those incentives. And the amount of price reductions we're seeing in the market today are also going to start to die down. By acting now, instead of waiting, a few good things can happen. You have more choice, number one, due to there being more homes on the market. Number two, you're going to be able to negotiate the absolute best price and terms possible, especially on those new construction homes I was mentioning just a little while ago. And number three, you always have the option to refinance as mortgage rates fall further. And many of the lenders out there today, including my preferred lender, who I've got a link for in the description below, they will actually offer you, if you take out a new mortgage with them now, they will actually offer you an option to refinance that mortgage without lender fees a couple years down the road. So that's something to keep in mind. All right. So while it might seem that waiting for those mortgage rates to fall makes the absolute best sense, it might not be the absolute best decision for everyone, as current market conditions actually favor buyers that are willing to act right now. So I hope that you found this information today to be both helpful and useful. And if you have additional questions or want to talk about this market that we're currently in further, then I invite you to reach out. You can always call or text me at the number up on your screen or in the description below, you will find a link to my calendar where at any time you can book a free 30 minute consultation with me where we can discuss your current situation and then help put you the plan, help put a plan together for you that makes the most sense. Thanks so much for watching today and be sure to subscribe to my channel for additional tips and updates and go ahead and make sure that you stick around for one of these videos coming up next.